Hey, it's Eric from UWJ Tri, and I have a laundry list of off-road triathlon rules from USA Triathlon. So double check with the race you're doing to see if the rules are regulated by that uh, corporation or another governing body. I'll put a link in the upper right if you want to check out swim rules, but today it's all about the bike. So here's the 10 commandments of off-road triathlon bike leg. Number one, thou shall use a mountain bike. No road bikes, commuter bikes, or any other type of bike you can think of. Mountain bike, period. Number two is your helmet must be approved by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. There's usually a little sticker on the inside of the helmet. Uh, if you're not sure, check with the manufacturer, but that's usually where you're going to see it. Number three is that chin strap better be buckled anytime you're on the bike. So bottom line is before you get on that bike, you buckle the chin strap and you do not unbuckle that chin strap until you're off the bike and walking or running uh, on the ground. Number four has to do with how you rack your bike in your transition area. So if it's a little bit larger race, you're going to get a designated spot with a sticker. So wherever your sticker is, the front wheel of your mountain bike needs to be on the ground and really facing out um, towards you. And then when you're done biking, the bike needs to be racked in the same spot that you originally got it from. So you have to have the same spot uh, in transition. You can't put it in different areas uh, before you bike or after the bike. Number five is that you can't ride your bike in the transition area. So most races have it pretty clear where uh, before you get on the bike, you have to walk or run with the bike until you get to a certain line called the mount line. Once you pass that line, of course your helmet's already on and chin strap's already uh, buckled. Once you pass that line, then you're able to uh, mount uh, the bike and go onto the bike course. As you're coming in, there's another line and right as you approach that line, you need to stop before that line and actually get off the bike uh, and walk, run that bike into transition, helmet's still strapped, um, until you rack that bike and put it on there. So no riding your bike in transition. Number six, my personal favorite about off-road triathlon is thou shall draft. Uh, drafting is totally legal. Uh, there's no real arrow uh, advantage um, when you're out there on the course, but when you're actually approaching other riders, um, you can actually work together if you want. Um, you can ride close behind someone. Um, drafting is not an issue. There are no penalties for that. So. Uh, Ride as close as you want it to your fellow uh, rider as long as you're safe. Number seven is that you can't have any outside assistance. So no assistance from spectators, you know, family and friends that are there. Uh, really, it's, it's if there's a race official or a medical professional or maybe bike support that's provided by the race, you're uh, allowed to use that. But otherwise, uh, this is a test of personal, personal fitness and you can't have any help uh, in really any way. Number eight is don't cut the course. Just follow the cones, the lines, the trail, wherever the race has it measured out so everyone's doing the same race. Uh, you're there for the challenge and the fun. Stay on course. Number nine is you can't use any audio devices. So, you know, leave the headphones at home, the Bluetooth, uh, the iPods, the Walkmans if you're still uh, using yours from 1996. Uh, just absolutely no hearing devices um, are allowed. Number 10, don't litter. It's actually called abandonment, but really it's anything you have, whether it's gels, whether it's a spare tube or a CO2, anything that you start that race with, uh, that bike leg with, you, you've got to finish with that. Uh, the exception is, is that at aid stations, there can be certain designated spots where you could throw trash, you could throw an empty water bottle or gel or you know, tube or anything, but at the exception of those places, you, you've got to take everything with you. Like I said, just don't litter. Okay, number 11. And if you've watched the video this far and are paying attention, you would realize I said that there was 10 commandments. Well, there's more than 10 rules on the bike leg, so we're just going to have to keep going. So number 11 is that you can actually dismount. In fact, not only are you allowed to, but in a lot of off-road triathlon races, Sometimes it's even encouraged. There's obstacles in the way, or um, there's been a, a couple races where I've done where there's a tunnel and it gets kind of dangerous with two-way traffic. So you're actually required to dismount for that, you know, 20-yard area 
get off the bike and run or walk your bike until you get underneath the tunnel uh, and then you can jump back uh, onto the bike and mount and continue riding. So don't worry about dismounting. Uh, other times if it's a steep hill, you're actually going to want to do that and, and uh, push or walk your bike up the hill and then get back on. So speaking of that, number 12 is actually propulsion, meaning that really you, you can't uh, move the bike uh, in any way with the exception of you know, your human force or ability or power. So uh, that's either sitting on it and pedaling, or if you dismount, uh, you can push uh, or carry your bike. Number 13 uh, deals with your forward progress. So any type of movement forward on that bike horse, you better have your bike with you. And as I mentioned with the other rules, uh, you can ride it, you can walk it, or you can carry it, just as long as you're not getting in the way of other riders. But you, uh, if you want to continue on, you've got to have that bicycle with you. If you leave your bike, you're essentially going to be uh, disqualified. Okay, so those are the main ones. There are four other ones that I really don't feel like most people have a problem with, or at least that you shouldn't. Uh, and, I, and if you do, I, I hope that you don't. I hope it's taken care of quickly. Uh, but let me run through those four real quick. So you can actually be penalized or disqualified for unsportsmanlike conduct. So that's sort of anything the referee deems as being, you know, unsportsmanlike. So harsh language or any type of behaviors or um, threatening acts, uh, anything that is considered unsportsmanlike. So just, uh, just be nice out there. Obeying traffic laws. So this doesn't apply as much in off-road triathlon, but it still does. There might be a section where you're crossing a road, going from a trail to a trail, um, or coming out onto the trail, riding the road for maybe a quarter of a mile, and then getting back onto the trail. So there's could be cones, there could be traffic laws, there could be intersections. Just whatever the police officer out, just follow along and you'll be fine. <sighs> okay, two to go. Endangerment. So you could receive a penalty or be disqualified for if you're perceived to endanger any type of, of other athletes. So uh, that kind of has a wide range of rules, but just as long as it doesn't seem like you're intentionally trying to harm anyone while riding or while you're on the course, um, don't tackle anybody, don't push anybody, uh, be competitive, ride hard, uh, but be fair and uh, be, be good sport. The last one has to do with something I hope nobody has to experience, and that's if you're approaching an accident, uh, a cycling accident on the course that you use extreme caution when approaching and going around uh, the person or, or people that are there. Uh, you slow your speed if necessary and that you just make sure that you're uh, not creating more of an issue uh, as you approach that, that accident um, and you can continue on safely uh, to finish your race if they're being uh, treated. Okay, so that was all of the off-road USA Triathlon bike rules. I'm not even going to sum them up because there was like, I don't know, 14 or 15. You're just going to have to watch the whole video uh, if you want to you know, see them again. So there'll be a video next week on the run rules. I promise it'll be much shorter because there just aren't as many. Majority are on the bike course. So if you have any questions, put a comment, a question below. Hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos. Put a comment and tell me what video do you want to see. That's important. Do that now. Did I say put a comment? I hope this video was helpful for you and that you never get disqualified, you never have a penalty, and that you really have a better race because you know what the rules are, you're not worried about it, are you breaking them or not. You just know that you're following all the rules and you're having a great race. So until next week, I will see you on the trails.